actually being the promise we were going to talk about today was about making equal shares of a whole piece or a whole thing. So let me show you how that works. Let's talk about making equal shares or equal pieces, equal parts. So this is one whole rectangle, right? Now, if I cut it into two, I will have two halves. So this is one half, that's another half. So we have one, two halves of the whole. If I, then I can also make thirds, which is one, two, three thirds, or three equal parts of a, th of a whole. So notice how these three pieces are the same size. That's because they're equal. These two pieces are the same size. That's because these two pieces are equal. And then I can also even go as far as cutting it into four. And I have, oh, it doesn't fit. And let's lift this up a little bit. And I will have four equal sized pieces. So notice how all four of these pieces are now equal. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four equal pieces. So if I put them together, I'm sorry about the bump there. I have to figure out how to get rid of that. So one, two equal size pieces, one, two, three equal size pieces, and one, two, three, four equal size pieces. So what does that mean when we're talking to our friends and we want to split food up with everybody? Well, for example, you can have anything that's round. I brought you a tortilla. This could be a pizza or it could be a pie. Mm. But everybody wants an equal size piece. So you have two friends and so you're going to split the pie between two friends, right? Watch. I take the pie or the tortilla or the pizza, whatever it is you like. Let me see. I got to get this line down here, down the middle here. And I slice it. There you go. Oh, that's not equal. That's not equal. This one's bigger. Let's get another tortilla. Let's try it again. There we go. All right, so now I am going to take this tortilla and fold it in half because I want to make sure that this is equal for everybody. And in this case, because equal is the same size of a piece, we could almost say that this is fair for everybody. But remember, fair isn't always equal. Sometimes people need something a little different. But in this case, ta-da, two friends can have an equal size a piece. If I take this one, so now I have two, so that I had one, now I have two equal pieces, and if I cut it again, I will have, I need to make sure that line is really bright so I can see it really well. All right, it's going to be almost good. There we go. So now I have I take that and I cut it into four pieces. Now I have four equal size pieces of a tortilla. So let's learn how to write this. If I have two equal size pieces of a tortilla, those are called halves. I get my whiteboard here and I'm going to write that down for you. So now we have two equal sizes two equal pieces. It's called one half. See, I have two pieces, one, two, and so I put the two in the bottom. And that is called half. All right, so I sliced this in half. When I cut it into four, like that, I got something called fourths. So the way you write that is like this. One fourth. And the word is fourths. That's two fourths. 
but we're still missing one and I can't do it with this tortilla. It's a little tricky and I ran out of tortilla, so I'll show you with the rectangle. So the other one that we looked at, if you remember correctly, was a rectangle and we looked at the one called the thirds. So let me bring up my thirds here. Got one, two, three equal pieces. So I got one, two, three equal pieces and that's called thirds. And we write that like this. One on top of three is thirds. So that's called thirds. Okay, so three equal pieces is called thirds. Now, let's have a look at something else. How about I take a rectangle? I'm going to use this to make my rectangle. Right? And draw around it. There's my rectangle. All right. So I want to cut this rectangle. Hmm. I want to cut this rectangle into thirds. So I'm going to take this piece, this strip here that I cut off earlier, and I'm going to put one slice. So, uh, well, it's going to be hard. Thirds, I have to eyeball it, but it's not easy. One, two. So these are thirds. They're about as equal as I can make it without a ruler. Those are thirds because I've got, I have one, two, three pieces. And we call this thirds. Now we can do the same thing with other shapes if we need to draw them out. This time I'm going to draw halves. I'm going to take, oops, that's an ugly A. Take pride in my work. I want it to look good. Halves. So I'm going to take the bowl, draw a circle around it. And I'm going to cut it into Those are your halves. I got one, two, two halves. Now I can take that same shape and I can cut that into half also. Now I've got one, two, oops. Two, three, four. I now have fourths, fourths, okay, and I'm going to try a harder one this time. Let's see if I take a, hmm, make a square. Do I have anything to make a square with? Yes, I do. I'll use this to make a square. Oops. Remember, I'm just doing this as good as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's hard to make things perfect because none of us are perfect. There we go. In fact, if everything, if we were all perfect, we'd all be the same, which would be kind of boring, I think. But now watch this. So I think it'd be kind of boring and we'd be all kind of the same. So watch this. So watch this. I take it here, slice it here, slice it here. And I have one, two, three pieces. And we call that thirds. Okay. So let's have a look at this on uh, the computer. Okay, so how does that translate to when we're doing math on a worksheet? 
Well, I have put your worksheet over here in ClassKick, and here's some, here's some examples that an adult can use to help you if you should get stuck a little bit. Also remember that if you need to, please go ahead and call me or leave me a message on Flipgrid. I'll be more than happy to help you out with this. So I'll do the first one of each so that you can have an idea of what to do to finish up the other ones, okay? Number one, here it says write the number of equal parts, then write the name for the parts. So in this one here, for number one, we have one, two, three, four equal parts. So I'm going to click four. I don't remember the name of four equal parts, but I know it's up here. See where it says four? It says fourths over here. So I'm going to type it in over here. Oops. Fourths. Perfect. Now over here, it's wanting to, it's asking me, write whether each shape is divided into equal parts or unequal parts. So the first word says equal. And remember how equal means that all the pieces are the same? And unequal, because it has a UN, unequal means that they're not the same. Well, I'm looking at this first one, and I can tell you that all the pieces are equal. They are the same, because I've got one, two pieces, and they're the exact same size and the exact same shape. So I'm going to write equal. Good. Now here it says, draw lines to divide the square into equal parts. OK, I'm going to use this tool. I bet nobody's used this tool before, but let me show you how to use it. Come over here. And it's, I, I remember, it's never going to be perfect. But you can come over here. I'm make this line here, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make this line right here. Now those pieces aren't quite equal yet. This one needs to be a little bit bigger. Uh, let me try to move it over a little bit. This piece needs to be a little bit. I need to change move this one over just a little bit. Oh, that was too much. There you go. That is close enough to equal. I don't need it to be perfect. So that is how you do this work. So good luck with it. I know you can do it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you out later. Goodbye.